What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to repair holes and cracks in your kayak using plastic welding. Now, you can pick up one of these kits for pretty cheap. I got that one for $17 from Harbor Freight, but it's a lot cheaper than having to continuously buy marine patches, which is what I've been doing, and they only last about a trip, so this is a much longer term solution that's gonna actually give you some more protection than those patches. Now, essentially what we're doing is giving the hole a new piece of plastic to function as the keel. Now, the kit that I bought and that you would probably wanna get because because it's pretty cheap, comes with plastic that does not actually go with the hole. But the good news is you probably already have some of this hole material in your house. Believe it or not, most detergent bottles and melt cartons and these buckets you can get from Home Depot and Lowe's are made of number two HDPE plastic. Now, that's the same material that your kayak hole is made out of. So all you have to do is cut yourself a nice piece, try to find a flat part if you're gonna use the bucket, you do the bucket lid, or if you're gonna use these detergent bottles, use the bottom or this front piece right here, and you can just cut it using some heavy duty scissors or shears. And then you're gonna take the welding kit and we're gonna do three layers. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that here later on in the video. But essentially, all we're gonna do is cover up the holes with the first layer. We're gonna put some wire mesh down and we're gonna give that a little bit more integrity onto the hole, just make it strong. And then we're gonna cover it up one more time with one more layer of plastic. And that's gonna give it the really good waterproofness. So three layers that are gonna provide a much stronger keel and it's gonna give it that waterproof material so that water does not get in and it's just a much more long-term solution than those patches. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in this process is to cover up any open holes or cuts that are in the hole of your kayak that are letting water in. This is going to give them some waterproofing to make sure that nothing gets in and also give the rest of the patch some reinforcement because obviously if we lay the rest of the patch over an open hole, it's likely just gonna cave in. So once you've got that reinforcement, you will be able to put down layer number two, which is the wire mesh that's gonna give it some shape and some strength when we put down layer number three, which is the plastic over the wire mesh. So the steps for putting this patch on are pretty straightforward, but there are some things you should know that'll make the experience a little bit easier and a little bit safer. Obviously, first off with safety, make sure you're wearing gloves. That instrument is very hot once you move past that red handle and it can easily burn you. And if you're not wearing gloves, you know, you're gonna immediately get burnt. With the gloves, luckily I was able to realize something was happening and pull away from the instrument before it got down to my skin, but it would have burnt through those gloves in just a few seconds if I hadn't been wearing them. Now, second off, make sure that you are cleaning the tip of the welding tool itself. If it's starting to get black, what that is is the material that you're melting is fusing to the actual tip of the tool. And if you use the wire brush that's included in the kit, you can clean that off. And once it looks shiny again, it's good to continue to use. If you make sure that that tip stays clean and it's got nothing on it, you're gonna get the best bond as you continue to melt plastic together. So next up are some extra tools I would recommend having on hand that are really gonna help out. First off, some vice grips. Uh, before the plastic is actually melded together with the layer below it, I recommend using the vice grips to hold it in place. And then once you've got it mostly secured to the layer that it's over top of, you can then manipulate it around with a small pocket knife and just kind of use that to push things in the certain direction that you want to as you continue to melt it on. So I recommend having those two things on hand. It'll really help rather than, you know, just having to move it around with the, the welding tool itself. So lastly, just try to make everything as flush as possible. If there's any areas that are raised up, there's a good chance that there's a spot that water is gonna be able to get into from that. So make sure everything is as flush as possible on the patch and that the edges of the patch itself are flush with the actual hole. That way no water is gonna be leaking in on the edges of the patch or onto the patch itself. All right guys, so I've got the patch welded on. As you can see, it's basically a new piece of hole. We've got a nice strong reinforced area here. It's not entirely waterproof. I did run a little bit of water through it and there was a, a couple drops coming off here and there and it's not going to be 100% waterproof. This is not a permanent solution, like I said. Uh, really, the only way to get that is to, to get a new hole, but this is going to work a lot better than a patch. It's gonna be a lot stronger and it's going to repel a lot more water. So let's go ahead and take it to the water, make sure it doesn't sink and let's see how that performs. There we go.
like it's holding up pretty well maybe a little bit right there but again this thing's not perfect and i did run over a couple oyster bars already but it seems it's holding up really good considering this is all that's coming out after a couple hour trip so pretty proud of this thing so as you guys saw, this can be a great alternative to those patches. It held up very well, and it, there was very little water that was getting in my kayak. I know there was a couple drops, but again, if I spent a little bit more time and, and used a little bit more of this Purex bottle, I could probably fill those cracks in. I just wanted to see if this could be done quickly and hold up better than one of those patches, and I would say for sure that it does, and it's going to last a lot longer as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn something, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I can get back to you there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong in wet lines today